Hello guys, my name is Mugisha Emmanuel and welcome back to this YouTube channel Mugicraft where we create and beautify. So in today's video, we are going to be learning how to design letter C using beads. So making letter C using beads. And these letters can help you design your own names on your bracelet and be able to create your on your own. Yeah, so watch this video till the end and don't forget to like, comment and share this video to friends and families. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos. So, without wasting time, let's go. We have our material here, guys. Yeah, we have our beads here of different color. You can see cream and we have black here. Yeah, so this is size, size six of the beads, size six. Yes, then we shall also need a string of 0 0.70 millimeters hope you can see we shall have a string of 0 0.70 millimeters yes then at the end of it we shall have our cutter yeah for cutting off the unwanted parts of the string for perfect finishing yeah so the first step we are, we're going to have part of our string we're going to have part of our string begin bringing the beads yeah but you're going to consider the four beads pattern whereby there are just four beads that you're going to be considering yeah so what you shall begin with you're going to begin with this lighter color the cream one so we shall have our four beads with us yeah we shall have our four beads then we are going to first put three beads into the string you're going to first put three beads into the string then you, got, you get your fourth bead it's the one you're going to be tying with your fourth bead so you cross over the both sides of the string then you pull then you pull okay, so using four beads pattern hope you can see so then after then you make sure the both sides of the strings are on the same on the same level so after adjusting after adjusting now you're going to continue with the process yeah, so you're going, you're going to do the same process again, but this time around you're going to have three beads because you already have the fourth bead here, up here, where the string is crossing. So we shall have three beads whereby one bead is going to be to go on the right hand side of the string and the other bead on the left hand of the string. Then we tie with the fourth bead. So what you're going to do now, you're going to get three beads. You're going to have three beads with you. Yes, then you put Sorry, then you put one bead on the left hand side of the string, then another bead on your right, right hand side of the string, then you get the third bead, it's the one you're going to tie with, yeah, to make the four beads pattern. So you tie with your third bead, then you pull, then you pull. I hope you can see, so when you pull, it becomes two steps like this. So what you're going to do now, you're going to have black, two black beads whereby you first put one on your left hand side of the string. You put one black bead on your left hand side of the string. Then on your right hand side of the string, this side, on your right hand, you bring in the other bead. You see? You bring in the other bead. Then after that, you get again your black bead. The second black bead is the one you're going to tie with. Then you tie with your second black bead. Then you pull. Then you pull. Yes, then you pull. So you make sure you fix your string properly. So then you pull. Yes, so after pulling, so becoming. So after pulling, now you're going to again have two cream beads. Then you're going to tie with one black bead. So how are you going to do it? You're going to have a cream bead. So one bead goes on your left hand side. Then you're going to have another cream bead on your right hand side, like this. So one bead the other on the on the left, one on the other bead on the right. Then you get one black bead, the one you're going to tie with. So you cross over both sides of the string, then you pull, then you make sure you pull, pull properly. Yes, so after pulling, this is how it's becoming. 
Yeah, so right now after reaching this step here, so we're trying to design letter C. Yeah, so after reaching this step here, what you're going to do now, we are going to have two black beads with one cream bead. So how, how are we going to, where are we going to place these black beads? We are going to have a black bead on the left hand side, this upper string here. On the left hand side, we're going to have one bead, one black bead. Then on, on our right here, right hand side of the string, we're going to have a cream bead. So it's like this. So we're going to have one bead of a different color. Then we're going to tie with one black, one black bead. So you cross over both sides of the string like this. Then you pull. So you can use any colors of your choice. Yeah, you can use any colors of your choice. You can decide to use black and white. You can use any colors of your choice so step now we're going to have black again so it's going to go on the on the left hand side of the string so you're going to have one black bead you're going to have one black bead going on the left hand side of the string yeah then on our on our right hand side we're going to have one cream bead this then then you're going to tie with another cream bead so like this then you cross over one into one bead then you pull then you pull so when you pull it becomes this way yeah so now we are going to reach at the end of our our line or our, our base so what you're going to do now you're going to have two beads Two cream beads to go in this right hand side of the string yes then we tie with one cream bead still so why are we doing that we want the strings to go upward so that we can continue with our leveling yeah so what we're going to have now we're going to have our fury cream beads whereby we get our right hand side of the string your right hand side yeah this string here if you can see it and you put two beads to cream beads so you can use a color of your choice of the beads so then after putting two then you tie with this third bead so you're going to bring the other side of the string bring the other side of the string so you tie with with your with your third bead then you pull then you pull so when you pull this so side becomes after pulling after pulling it comes this way yeah so the strings are facing upward so it, this allows you to level up your, your your letter so what you're going to do now we are going to now continue to make it a, a bit longer go upward yeah so now what you're going to do now the first step here now we are going to begin with three beads again so we're going to have our cream beads we're going to have cream beads so we're going to get three beads you can see them few beads so you get this right hand side of the string first put in you first put two beads like this you first put two beads in one string right hand side of the string yeah then you get the third bead is the one you're going to tie with, with both strings you're going to tie with this then you pull then you pull, you make sure you pull. You're going to tie with it, then you pull. Then you pull. So after pulling, then after pulling, then you get this lower string. This lower string on your right, right hand side. This lower string here on your right hand side. So it's going to enter this string here, it's going to enter into the next black bead. Yeah, so you're going to get it and make it enter to the next black bead like this so after entering then you get this opposite side of the string this other string that that was held constant so you get this other part of the string it's the one you're going to put in beads but you're going to first put one cream bead like this then you get another black bead it's the one you're going to tie with the black bead 
then you bring the other side of the string again you, it's the one you're going to be tying with like this then you pull then you pull so i'm taking it slowly so that you can be able to understand and be able to make to design your letters on your own yeah so after that you continue the same process you're going to get this lower string this right hand side of the string to get into the next bead again you're going to get it get through the next bead again then you pull yes so from there we're now going to only be using now the cream beads you're going to only use the cream beads so you're going to get two cream beads put into this this upper string you first put one bead then you tie you're going to tie with this, this second bead so you're going to tie with the second bead then you pull then you pull pull like this yeah so after pulling so after pulling now you're going to you're going to put this string get into the next bead again so you continue the same process gets into the next bead yeah so here we are going to again you're going to use again two cream beads again so you're going to have two cream beads like this the ones you're going to be using so you first put one into this upper string first put one bead into this upper string then you bring the other one the other bead is the one you'll be tying with it's the one you'll be tying with like this then you pull then you pull make sure you pull yeah so after pulling so after pulling now now you're going to have this lower string on our right hand side this lower string this lower string on our right hand side get into the next bead like this then you pull this into the next bead then you pull so after pulling now so it's becoming now we are going to bring in the black beads now this time we are going to bring in the black beads so we are going to have two black beads get continue the process so we're going to have this upper string here this upper string yeah we are going to get two black beads so you first put one bead into the string then you tie you tie with with the other bead with the other black bead so you bring the other side of the string again you tie you pull you pull make sure you pull so you make sure you pull yeah, so after pulling you get this lower string get into the next bead again get into the next bead then you're going to get another black bead you use this upper string still you get another black bead like this then after getting the other black bead now you're going to to tie now you're going to tie with you're going to tie with with a cream bead you're not going to make sure you tie with one cream bead again like this you make sure you tie then you pull then you pull you pull with, with one cream bead so after that then you get this slower string the slower string get into the next the next bead like this the next cream bead yeah so when you reach this side the end of it when you reach this end of it what you're going to do now so instead of putting considering this upper string you're going to consider this other part of the string on the left left hand side why are we doing it so because we want this string to face upward so but this is only done at the extreme ends of 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 every step that you make so we're going to have this this string on our left hand side you put one bead then you get the other bead it's the one you'll be tying with it's the one you'll be tying with like this then you pull then you pull you can see now so after pulling you can twist your your, your work so you watch after, after pulling you make sure you pull properly so right now we are trying to go upward with our our letter c yeah so that it can be seen properly so 
now we are going to do now have again three bead three beads we're going to start with three beads so you get this right hand side of the string this right hand side of the string you're going to put two beads in it you're going to make two beads go through this one string like that then you get the third bead is the one you'll be tying with the one you'll be tying with yeah so in case you missed the previous video you can go back and watch it yeah where we learned how to make a key holder in form of a hat yeah please you can go back and check so you can check the link in the description yeah or you can check the link in the comment section and be able to access the video yeah so here we're continuing so you put the string into the next bead so after that you're going to get two black beads so you get your two black beads you get one bead into the string so you use this upper string then the other bead you're going to tie with it you're going to tie with one bead again so you cross over then you pull then you pull so you get it through like this get it through then you get this lower string get into the next bead as well so you can fix your strings properly yeah so after that it goes into the next the next bead after getting it into the next bead you get two beads one black one black bead it goes into the string first one black bead goes into the string first then you get the other another bead a cream bead it's the one you'll be tying with so make sure you'll be tying with one cream bead you pull you pull So after pulling, now you're going to get this lower string, get into the next bead, get into the next bead like this, next bead, yeah, so after that, you're going to have two cream beads that you're going to be tying with, so you first put one into the string, then you bring the other one that you'll be tying with, that you'll be tying with, then you pull, then you pull, make sure you pull. Yeah, so after that, now you're going to get this lower string, get into the next bead again. It's going to go into the next bead again, like this, then you pull. It's going to go into the next bead again, then you pull. Then after that, now you're going to get other two more beads. Continue the same process using this upper string. Yeah, you're going to get some other beads. You put one, then you tie with another one. Another bead, you'll be tying with it. So make sure you tie, you cross over the two sides of the string, then you pull. Then you pull. So after pulling, you make sure this lower string, this downer string here goes into the next bead again. So I'm trying to keep taking it slowly so that you can be able to understand it properly. Yeah. And you can be at the end of it you can be able to design your own letters you can be able to design your name on your bracelet yeah, so these letters are really useful yeah they are really important so then you tie with the second bead like this yeah so here we've reached at the extreme end again hope you can see extreme end so we're going to do what we said earlier so instead of continuing the same way you considering this upper string now we're going to consider this opposite side of the string yeah the right hand the left hand side of the string sorry it's the one you shall be considering then you're going to have two beads we first put one into this left hand side of the string one bead then you're going to tie with the second bead so you bring the other side of the string you make it cross over make it cross over that bead then then you pull yeah, then you pull like this. So after pulling, it becomes this way. Yeah, so you can change it the other side. Yeah, because me, I, I use my right hand side. So, <laughs> so I always want to come from the right to the left. So, but if you use your left hand side mo most most of the times, you can start from this side, come this side. Yeah, so you choose what's convenient for you. 
so right now we are continuing we are almost finishing so what we begin with three beads again whereby we put two beads then you're going to tie with one yeah so we have two more levels to go so after this one you shall have one more level to go upward and we'll be able to finish our letter okay, so then after putting like this after putting your three beads then you get this side this lower string here wait get into the next bead like this to the next bead stop after pulling so this side be it has become so right now we are going to now consider black beads so when you reach this level here so we've moved we moved three times so this is this is the fourth time now first time you're going to consider black when you reach this particular level so what you consider you consider this where this black is starting this at a lower lower levels here you can follow this line of the beads you can hope you can see this black here so you can follow this line so that means here we are going to start with the black again as well yeah to make to make it match properly so now right now what you're going to do you're going to start with one black bead like this so after putting one black bead, you're going to tie with with another black bead. You're going to tie with the same black, the same black bead. Then you pull. Then you pull. Pull like that. Then after pulling, you get this lower string. Get into the next bead. Like that. Get to this lower string. Get into the next bead. Like that. So then you get one another black bead. You first put another black bead. So after putting the uh, one black bead, you bring the other bead, uh, the cream bead. It's the one you will be tying with. It's the one you'll be tying with. So you tie with one cream bead. You can see. Cross over the both sides of the string. You pull. You pull. So after pulling. And you're going to get this lower string get into the next the next bead the next bead like this you pull you pull yeah, so after pulling now you're going to only use cream beads here so you're going to have two cream beads so you get one be one cream bead you first put in this upper string then you tie with another then you're going to tie with another cream bead then you pull, then you pull. Yeah, so after pulling, now you're going to have this string, this lower string, get into the next bead, next bead like this. So when you reach this, this stage here, well, what you're going to do now, you're going to have, you're going to only use black, two black beads. So you're going to have two black beads. So whereby you first put one into the string, one bead. Then you bring the other bead is the one you're going to be tying with so bring the other side of the string you you, you cross over that one bead then you pull then you pull so after pulling so it's becoming so then you put your string into the next bead like this to the next bead yeah to the next bead yeah then after that now we're going to have two cream beads you're going to have two cream beads, like these ones. So you're going to first put one bead, then you tie with with the other one. Then you tie with with the other the other bead. You pull. And you pull. Then after pulling, you're going to have the string gets gets into the next bead. The string gets into the next bead. Yeah. So after that, remember we've reached again. We reached the extreme end of it so what you're going to do now you're going to use the opposite side so you're going to have one bead get into the the left hand side part of the left hand side part of the string then you're going to have another bead that you're going to be tying with tying with one the other bead then you pull then you pull so hope you can see now Right now we are we are going to now make the last line upward to make our letter C complete. To make our letter C complete, we're just going to move one more round here, and and we get done with our letter. 
So what you're going to do now, you can twist again. Yeah, so as, as we did before, when you're starting, you start with fill beads. So you can have your fill beads here. So you first put two beads into this right hand side of the string. You put two beads first into this right hand side of the string. Then you get the third bead. It's the one you'll be tying with. You'll be tying with, with the third bead. Then you, then you pull. Make sure you pull. So you can pull properly. So make sure you pull. You can see. Now after that, you get your string, get into the next, the next bead, like this. Get your string, get into the next bead. So after getting into the next bead, what you're going to do now, you're going to get again two more cream beads. So you first put one bead into this upper string, which is your right hand side of the string. Then you tie with the second bead. So you're going to tie with the second bead. Just cross over the both sides of the string. You tie. Then you tie. So after tying, then you're going to have your string, your lower string, this downer string here. Get into the next bead again. So tie. After it getting into the next bead, now what you're going to do now, you're going to have. This time around, you're going to bring in the black beads again. So we're going to have one bead get into the string. You're going to have you're going to have one bead get into the string. Yeah, then you, you're going to tie with one black bead like this. Then you pull. Then you pull. Then you pull. Yeah. So then you get this lower string get into the next bead again. Yeah, so what you're going to do now, you're going to bring in again the cream beads, the one cream bead, then you're going to tie with one black bead. So bring one black bead, you're going to be tying with it. Tie with, you pull. So after pulling, then you get your string, you get your string into the this lower string here, get into the next the next bead, like this. Then you pull. So after getting it into the next bead, so what you're going to do now, you're going to continue the same process. You get your cream bead first, get into in, get it into the, the upper string. Then you get your the other part of the bead, the black bead, the one you're going to be to be using to tie with. You're going to tie with the black bead. You pull. So you pull. It gets into the string. So after that, now you get this lower string, get into the next bead again. So here we are done with, uh, with designing our letter C, just concluding the last part. Now right now we are now going to only use cream beads to make the finishing. Cream beads to make the finishing. So we are going to, to pull. After pulling, then you get again your the lower string, get into the the next bit like this. So hope you can see our letter C is, is being formed. So right now we're just fin making the finishing here. Then we tie our string. I'll show you how you can tie your string. So right now you can bring your your left hand side of the string. You put one bead inside, then you're going to tie with another bead. Going to tie with another bead, then you pull, then you pull. Yes, so after pulling, we are done with our piece. So, what you're going to do now, you're just going to, to make to, to make it a bit firm. Yeah, so you're going to cross over this part, these remaining parts of the string into the, the bead so you can bring it downward like this can make the string go through the downer bead. Yeah, then you also get this other part of the string it goes into the downward bead. So you make it cross over the beads. Yeah, so as you do this, please remember to comment and share this video. So you 
can bring this be this string here to get through this other part. Yeah, so then you pull. Yeah, so then here comes in our nail cutter. So you're going to cut off the unwanted parts of the string. So you cut off the unwanted parts of the string. So bring even this side as well. Even this side as well will cut off. So then our letter C is done, if you can see. Hope you've learned a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching this video guys where we are from making letter C. Hope you can see it's small as this. So you can make any big size of your choice guys. So this can help you design your own names, your own words using beads guys. So and in case you want to know anything concerning letters, please let me know in your comments. Please comment so that I can be able to get to know what you really really, really want guys. So and in case you want to reach out to me, you can follow me on my Instagram, X on tiktok and even facebook as movie craft guys so and please don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos so till next time ciao, ciao.